We start off this recipe by cleaning an eggplant. Then we cut it in half along its length and put it into a baking tray. And now we carve it. go into the carvings and we savor them with some extra virgin olive oil and a bit of salt and pepper. The baking tray goes into the oven. For the next stage we need dried cherry tomatoes, capers, chili, a teaspoon of minced olives and we mince it all with a knife. <coughs> this is the tapenade. If you wish, you can add some garlic. It still needs a garnish of salt, extra virgin olive oil and a bit of balsamic vinegar. Once with the anchovies we prepared before have finished their cooking in the oven. We scrub their contents to leave apart the skin, add some more olive oil and all is whisked into the mixer.
Now let's grab the monkfish. It has to be cleaned from the bones. Also the skin must be removed, as the skin of this fish would become black when cooked. It would not look nice. The meat of the monkfish has to go into the pan only when it's well heated. It needs a somewhat longer and higher temperature cooking than other types of fish. And it must produce a slight crust on its surface. Now we can prepare the final dish. In the center of it goes the cream we have whisked earlier. The pieces of monkfish meat go on top of the cream and we finally add the tapenade. 